Hey you guys, so today I'm going to be doing the Beauty Things I Suck At tag. Um, this has been going around like wildfire in the YouTube community and I am just like, I need to do this video because there are so many things that I suck at and I just don't think I will ever, not perfect, but things I just will never get down and understand. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing is false lashes. You guys, I will never get the hang of false lashes down. I, like, I've watched so many videos and I have, like, just randomly done them so I can get it down and it just will never happen. I will, like, make sure it's, like, tacky so that when you apply it and then one end either comes up or this end comes up and I'm just, like, I can't even do it. I don't get either why you, like, cut them. Like, I guess it's to form them. I'm like, I don't, I'm not going to take that much time. Like, I just need to put them on and I just will never get the hang of them ever. And the people who do the little individual lashes, God bless you because I can, I will, I will never, I will never take that much time to apply false lashes ever in my life. The next thing is very, very common, and I wish I was ambidextrous because then my life would be ten times easier, and that is painting the opposite nail, or opposite hand. I can't, like, I cannot do it. I was so shocked. Okay, I have not painted my nails in, like, two weeks, and then I finally got new nail polish, and I was like, ooh, I'm going to try these. So, and I was like, God, this is, this is working really good, you guys, and I just... That was like the only time it's ever been decent. And then another thing to go with painting my nails is like the cleanup afterward. Like I see some Instagram pictures and their nails are like flawless. And I'm like, how do you get that? Like I got paint on the sides and up top and down here and it just, it's a mess. And I like, I'll go along and clean up as I paint each nail to make it easier. No, that paint is sticking to my skin it will never come off unless like the next or like that day or the next day when I shower and like it comes off them with like the soap and stuff no. I just wish it would just happen or paint would not stick to your skin I would love that just to your nail like it was reverse magnetic I just wish it wouldn't happen I hate it this one is also another common one and that is cleaning my makeup brushes and my beauty blender I want well, one. I cannot find a good way to clean them. So if you guys know either a video or know how to, leave me a comment below because I, like no matter what, I feel like they're always still dirty after I clean them. Two, it's that I'm so lazy and that I feel like, no, the colors won't blend. No way. No, they do. And it sucks. And so, and like, I want to get like a nice cleaner, but at the same time, I'm like, ugh. Then I have to really clean them every single day. And I know that's so good for your brushes to like clean them every day and make sure you get like so they don't disintegrate and blah, blah, blah. I get it. I just am that type of person that is too lazy to do it and I cannot. I just can't do it. I just, I just can't. I can't do it. I don't know if this is for a lot of people. And maybe it's just because I'm like so pale right now. I'm looking at my viewfinder. I'm like really pale. Ooh. I feel like when I contour my face, I look ten times darker than I need to be. And I, I was doing, I went to a benefit, um, uh, benefit event this weekend at Sephora and she was contouring my face with, Baha or with Hulu, Hula, yeah, Hulu, bron Hulu bronzer and it looked flawless. I was like, God, I look really good. I don't look overly tan, blah, blah, blah. And she was doing the same exact thing that I do, like applying the same amount, doing the same strokes, doing this. And I just, it just looked terrible. It looked terrible. And I, I'm like contoured today. I don't think it looks too bad, but I just, I can't do it. I look 10 times darker than I need to be and that is not acceptable right now. Red lips have always given me a hard time. Um, every time, okay, so I'll line them, I'll put lipstick, and then if I'm feeling really bold, I'll put like a gloss over top. And I feel like I always, around like right here and like up here, feel like it always becomes extra pink. And like I'll put concealer and everything. Oh no, it will not get covered up. It's kind of like with the painting the nails, you know, like it gets everywhere. That's how red lips are. They It just gets everywhere. And I don't know how because I'll line them and I'll like really slowly put my lipstick on. And then I'll really slowly put the gloss. And then I won't do anything. I'll just smile. 
and that's it. I won't like smack my lips together. I won't rub them or anything like that. No. I just leave them alone. And then somehow, within the next five minutes, it gets everywhere. Everywhere. And I hate it. Remembering to put primer on before I put my foundation on is like the struggle of my life. Within the past like two months, I've really gotten into using primers and I will start putting on my makeup on and I'll be like, crap, I forgot to put primer on. Like, and it makes a huge difference. Like, I am, I am like 100% on the primer bandwagon. I just, getting it worked into my daily routine is so hard for me. I have no idea why. Because I think it's because for the, all the time that I've been doing makeup, I've never used a primer. And then the last like two months, I started using primer and now I'm like, huh? Wait, wait, I need to put that on. Wait, no. Yeah, I just, it's just the struggle of my life. Like I said with the makeup brushes, I'm an extremely lazy person when it comes to doing certain things, and taking my makeup off is one of them. I mean, I I just cannot do it, and it's so bad for my skin, and my, I break out so easily, and I just can never remember to take my makeup off some nights. I will get into bed, and I'll get all snuggled, and I'll watch TV, and then all of a sudden I'll be like, oh my god, I have to take my makeup off. Nope, forget it. Go to sleep. And that's so bad because one, it dirties my sheets, it gets oil everywhere, it makes my skin clogged, and it's just irritating to wake up and feel like your face is all oily and gross, and I'm just like, Ugh, no. I think I need to come up with a makeup removing system by my bed and have it so everything is right there, so then there is absolutely no excuse for me not to remove my makeup because it is like another struggle of my life because I, like I said, I'm such a lazy person and I'm like, oh, it's going to be okay. Even though in the morning and every time I do it, I'm like, Ugh, why did I not just get up for five minutes? Seriously. This isn't really like a, this is kind of beauty relieving. It's kind of also another organization lazy thing. It's organizing my makeup. I get in the habit of, especially when I go home for a certain amount of time and I'll like take my makeup bag, like I'll use that stuff and then I'll pull stuff from my makeup organizer or like my, or my makeup storage and then I'll throw it into that bag. Like I won't re-put it back where it belongs. And then it takes me forever to put the makeup that I took home back into its rightful place. Like or what I'll do is if I'm in a rush like I'll just take all the makeup that I used and throw it in and I'm like and then I would get back and I'm like what the heck happened? Like was I drunk or something? But I just need like I just sometimes I get so lazy and I'm just like throw it in and I'll reorganize it later. It was Blair or Jersey Star 07 who came up with like this 60 second thing like if you can you if you can do it in 60 seconds like just do it. It you know type of thing. And I need to keep that mentality when I'm putting my makeup away because I'm like it only takes like 2 seconds. I don't need to just throw it in there. Just do it as you go type thing. I just seriously suck at that sometimes for reals. I don't know about anybody else, but I absolutely suck at putting liner on. Whether it's liquid liner, when I put it on the top and it smudges everywhere on my lids, on my freshly painted or freshly done eyeshadow, or it's my waterline where I poke myself in the eye, or the worst one, when like people want to get like under the lashes and they go, I can't do it. I can't do it. I swear, I think it's like giving myself a death threat just to become blind. I just there's no way that I can do it. I like I'm good with gel because it's kind of that in between. Um, I can do like pencil at the top but liquid liner, my waterline, and underneath my lash line, no way. No, I'm not even going to attempt. Not even. The last thing is using products I already have. I'm the type of person that when I go into Target or Walmart or Meyer or wherever and there is a beauty section I cannot pass it up I have to look at stuff and I end up coming out with one or two things maybe 30 whatever and then I forget about all the products that I have already bought that I need to try or the products that I absolutely love and I'm not giving them enough attention like I get it that's a part of YouTube but like being a, a beauty guru I guess I don't really call myself that but I just I suck at like using up the products that I have and then rewarding myself with buying new ones like I think I bought like five baby lips within the past like week or so like the all the new limited edition ones and I get that they're limited edition but still and I have like 12 baby lips already like I have so many of them and I they're like not even to the part of being like hitting the pan or whatever I guess you can say 
Like, I just absolutely suck at that. I need to, like, prioritize and not buy beauty products for a really long time and use up the ones that I have. And if I run out of one that I really, really like, then I can go buy it. Take the, I just, I just, I just suck at that. I really do. So that is it for the beauty things I suck at tag, you guys. I hope you guys found this somewhat humorous and somewhat relatable. If you relate to any of these, leave a comment down below. Uh, make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you um, have you relate to any of these. Uh, and most importantly, make sure you subscribe to my beautiful channel. Um, I'm going to be having a lot of cool videos coming up, you guys, especially my makeup. Um, my makeup organization video because I just got new storage and my boyfriend is making like all the dividers and stuff like that right now so once that is done you will be seeing that so if you were excited thumbs up this video and I will tag some people down below um, who I want to see do this tag because I think it'd be really funny so yeah I will see you guys in my next video bye